Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you a very quick unboxing of my latest items from Ferris Wheel Press. So if you're interested in checking out these beautiful inks and a brand new fountain pen, please stick around. Thanks everyone. Before I get right into this video, I did want to of course take this quick moment to thank you all so very much for taking the time to join me today. As always, if you enjoy this video, I would very much appreciate it if you let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and making sure you're subscribed. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Alrighty, so I will, as always, include a discount code and a link in the description box down below if you're interested in getting this for yourselves. This month's month, we have a very very blue themed it seems like uh, set which I'm really excited about I shared with you all in a previous video that I actually just recently broke my very first Ferris wheel press fountain pen the carousel pen I think um, here you can see that it cannot close any longer but I have not wanted to get rid of it and actually I think it's probably dried out because it can't close but essentially I yeah so I broke it so I'm very happy to welcome a new one to the family I didn't have the heart to get rid of this one and maybe I will after today so today we have the carousel fountain pen uh, stylo plume feathered flight so pretty medium steel nib all right so this is what the packaging looks like sorry if that was out of focus or too close and this says let's see if i can get it so that we can read it capturing your most magical memory of the mid midway <laughs> the carousel comes equipped with a converter that is ready to be filled with your favorite fountain pen ink bring the brightest um bring your brightest ideas to life with the spirit of the carnival sorry for reading that very very awkwardly uh, you can hear my cats are fighting out there um, which is not ideal. This was made in Taiwan and um, the, of course, Ferris Wheel Press is from Canada. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Ooh, it, I can already tell it's very, very pretty. It's got like this baby, almost baby blue hue to it. All right, let's go. Let's see it. This is a very odd way to open it, but here we go. Ooh, hello. Okay. So very interesting, taking a look here. I hear, I can feel, I love this color, I do. Can you guys see this? And so these um, pull straight out. You can see that here, get a nice, maybe a nice close up. Is it gonna focus? Probably not, there you go. Of the nib here. And it is like a lightweight plastic material. And we have two inks today. I'm going to swatch it here. And if you guys are interested in seeing a plan with me with these inks in this spread, it's actually like um, me coming back from a trip, a week trip, and then two weeks later filling it in. <laughs> um, definitely make sure you're subscribed and you hit that little no notification bell down below because I'm actually gonna film that right after this. Okay, so professional quality inks, um, premium, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this one's called Ultra Marina. This is a calligraphy ink. And then this one here is the Unfettered Flight. Very pretty. And show this to you all. Let's see. Water-based, evenly toned, rich and saturated. So this month you have a base of light blue, no sheen, um, a shimmer of pink gold shading pretty high. All right rinse pens thoroughly and so what I'm going to do is actually something very different this month I'm actually going to load up this pen with this ink without shaking it which I guess would make it difficult mm, I guess I'll shake it up and the reason being I'm going to let it settle is because a lot of times I find that um, sometimes when I shake it up it and the times that I haven't shaken it up it doesn't clog um, inside my pen and so if I don't shake it up it doesn't get clogged so that's pretty fun so there's several ways you can fill these pens um, I actually don't have any napkins <laughs> I have a tissue um, I have done it many different ways today I'm gonna do it the cleanest way which is actually to fill this cartridge first and then load it into the nib um, but typically I actually dunk the whole nib to get it like nice and nice and wet all right, I'm glad I was able to open this. So this is your plunger. This one's a twisty plunge. So um, I just pull it all the way up and then I like to push down so, while submerged. 
and then pull back up. And I get a pretty good pull that way. You can see that here. It's probably what, 80% you think? Full, ooh, so pretty. All right, and then I'm gonna just shove that in there. You kinda, I don't, you probably haven't heard it, but it clicked just a little bit. And then I'm gonna give it a little push where it comes to push it down just a little bit. See if it gives it a little, kind of wets the nib a little bit, gets the ink flowing. And then very simply, just close her back up. And then before I apply here, I will try to find some scrap paper somewhere. I have this here, let's see if I can get it flowing a little bit. Oh my goodness. That is so beautiful. Okay, so this guy's ready to go. And I'm just gonna go down here and mark it. That's so pretty. Okay, so that is this beautiful unfettered flight. I love this so much. You're not gonna be able, maybe, I don't know, see all that beauty, FT2403. This might be easily one of my favorites. It's very interesting too, because I pulled some stickers that I plan on using um, for this trip that I just recently took. And um, I think they go really well with this ink. Okay, so next up is this calligraphy ink. Now, I think I'm gonna use, it says waterproof, premium quality smudge resistant. I don't think I have the proper pen for this, but I'm thinking that I'm going to try to use my Kakimori dip pen and then wipe it, like wash it off after this video and see how that goes. Um, but I'm very excited to actually use it in this spread. Wow, very exciting. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, this um, is gorgeous. It seems very thick. Oh my goodness. Ooh, wow, look at that. It's like a milky, milky, milky feel, right? What do we got? Oh my goodness, and it's even got like this little stop here. That must be really helpful. Please don't splash at me, oh my God. I definitely don't have the right pen for this. There's no way. Um, hopefully this doesn't ruin my pen. <laughs> Um, but I'm just going to do a swatch here so you all can see. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. How different is that? So, I mean, that's basically all for today's video that I have prepared. Um, but like I mentioned, if you're interested in seeing how I use this, you can see it's like a perfect match already. Um, especially for Easter coming around the corner. I think this is going to be great. Uh, if you're interested in checking that out, I will be releasing a video soon. So hopefully I will see you in the next one. Alrighty friends, thank you so much and until next time, bye.